I think there's still a lot of the kind of basic um, automation integration challenges that companies still today face. So that is still a lot of groundwork that needs to be covered, whether it involves document ca uh, capture or extraction of, of documents and making the system smarter to understand all the paper um, that we have or understand computer screens even better and so forth. And that's something that we really kind of are really, really good at. But what's coming next exactly if you take that logic, say if you take that semantic understanding um, take, for example, what we do already, which is kind of a normal non-brainer, is you take a particular form or you take a computer screen. All the elements and all the fields or whatever the form is or the, or the document, it's an invoice, there's already a certain ontology, basically a semantic, that we supply to the AI system to be able to extract it. But now think of the next level is generative AI. So we generate automation, basically the automation flows. So we generate the robots or the robot flows. And in order to do that, we need to have that semantic context. Apply the semantic context to an application like SAP or all the ones that, you know, or, or take the Oracle or whatever, this, the big ERP systems that all the companies have, or, or Workday or so forth, and all have key processes around HR, around uh, invoice processing, finance, or uh, manufacturing, whatever it is. And if now we have the semantic understanding in form of a knowledge structure or graph or semantic structure, and the system is now able to understand the semantic structure. So you would be able to say, okay, I want the, uh, order to cash from SAP to connect this now with my Siebel system, with my CRM system. So you only need to draw the process functions or process points and all the matching and all the mapping would be done automatically by the system, by the automation, because it actually knows which data elements are involved in this type of system and in that type of system to connect. So all that hard work that a technician would do or a technical person to build interfaces would all be done through artificial intelligence in this sense, right? So this is the next um, layer. This is what we, what we call semantic automation. So this is what I'm, I'm predicting kind of in the next years to come. And uh, yeah, so it's, uh, it's, it's very exciting.